Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise today to discuss the extreme weather events that have occurred over the last several months. From the massive rains and flooding this week in Tennessee to the historic tornado in Mississippi to this spring's flooding in New England and Connecticut and Rhode Island to the February mudslides in Madeira to the freak March Hurricane Cynthia that killed 40 people on the coast of France, it is clear that storms are getting more intense and weather patterns are changing consistent with computer models of climate change. In Orange County, New York, my farmers have had to cope with so-called 50-year floods that now seem to occur every year. Rivers may truly be the canary in the coal mine of global climate change. What more evidence do we need? It's time to stop denying that this change is happening and work together to stop the pollution that causes it. In the House, we have acted, and now it's time for the Senate to take up and pass an energy and climate bill, which also, by the way, is a big jobs bill. Madam Speaker, I yield back.